I know, I got you already, thanks. This is loser's quarters. This is for fourth place. All right, so it's been a while since uh, this matchup has happened, I think. I think they, the last time these two played, I think, was at Esports Awareness Day, maybe. All the way back in April. Because Timber went on kind of a hiatus to Japan. And meanwhile, AMD has been doing his thing. So we'll see if AMD remembers how this matchup goes. Uh, last time he had he did this matchup, he had uh, Void as a coach. So obviously Void not here. He is in California, hitting up those West Coast majors. So we'll see if AD can put this together for himself. Strong up B, but a little bit too early. Not quite enough percent, and there's a lot of room on Battlefield uh, to Vector. Nice read by A-N-D, and he gets rewarded with an up B. Very nice. Cleans out that stock. We'll see if Timber uh, has see if Timber has a uh, the ability to clean this stock up. A lot of villagers tend to flounder when they lose the lead, as their up close game is not as strong as their keep away. But Timber is definitely no stranger to fighting, so should be able to close this out. We'll see how long it takes, though. Takes a little bit of damage right there. I would have liked to have seen AD down B away there. Oh, goes high again. Does not go for the ledge. Oh, and AD kind of cursing himself there because he knows that that was a big drop. He, he needs more damage than that. Oh, no. <laughs> Very smart by Timber. Uh, realizing that the sapling was right there and there was much more value in just grab releasing him. And look at that, he's got almost 70% now because of that. That all led up because of the that grab close to the sapling. <clears throat> Andy tries to go for the up B, falls out. Not a true combo. <clears throat> Andy opting for the up air ender instead of going for the up B. Uh, doesn't want to risk it. Oh, no techs. Got to tech those down airs. And RN Jesus with the bountiful harvest. <laughs> Is that what happens in real life? When you pull a radish, sometimes you get three. I don't know. All right, so Andy string away from Battlefield. And he's going to give Town and City a shot. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, a little bit of an awkward spot right there as both characters kind of stuck. Ooh, tip range. 
Smart footstool by e and not going near the sapling. Ooh, thought that down B was going to put him in the ground. <coughs> nice B reversal by e and keeps his positioning. Oh, the AD reversed it. That was really weird. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Not against a character like ZSS. And that was a very nice punish by AD. <clears throat> Pretty similar situation as the first game. AD got the first kill, and then Timber kind of ran away with it on stock two. There's the grab. Yep. All right, Timber crosses over e and D's shield. Ooh, nice walk up. I like the walk up, very confident. <clears throat> okay, good up smash punish. e and D just needs to chill right now. Oh wow, the moving platform kind of saved him. Oh, don't like that grab right there. Looks like kind of an autopiloted option. Oh, nice uh, use of the swing right there, the Tarzan by Andy. But uh, he is down being at times where Timber's not really moving. Uh, he needs to uh, he needs to do it when Timber is going to throw out a move, uh, so that it'll punish him. Not not just as like an approach, to just do it option. And then again, Timber taking advantage of the sapling being right there, and he has racked up a nice sixty percent. Exactly the same thing that happened in game one. Oh my gosh. Although Timber, I guess, not really feeling comfortable about his play, wants to end this now. Okay, the grab does go, does linger for a little bit. Got to watch out for that balloon. Okay, he's good. And Andy has it. Air dodges into the platform and lags a little bit so that backer will catch him clean. <coughs> All right, here we go. Game three It's the last game of the set. Either way. And Timber counterpicking to Dreamland. We saw this in earlier during, during the day. <clears throat> when he plays on Dreamland, it's a lot harder for you to see the sapling because of all the flowers on the ground. Hiding in the weeds. That was a little bit of a reach by Andy. He should have known that that was going to happen. Okay, good jab mash by Andy to get him out of trouble. Nice punish on the, the stick of truth. Oh. Okay, nice escape by Andy. Gets himself out of the edge. And that should do it. Oh no, it didn't lift him as high as I thought it would. Uh, Timber actually kind of half fell out there, so it didn't lift him that high. Strong hit on the forward smash, gets both clean hits, but still not enough. And now Timber has a lot of rage to work with. So the uh, turnups are going to be very strong. Those are going to start hurting too. Oh, that was supposed to be a runoff back air, and E&D did not run off the platform first. 
pressed the C stick a little too early. <gasps> that was almost horrible for ENT. <laughs> and almost happy birthday for Timber. Okay, Andy escaping again. The lo the tripping sapling is gone. This is his chance. None of the up airs connect. Gets him off the ledge. And gets the grab. Nice placement. Andy too afraid of the Lloyd. Should have down beat out of there. I'm not sure if that narrow was uh, that up air was guaranteed if he ran. That back air though will do it. Good enough. Last stock for both. Nice Zara by A and D, catch canceling out the slingshot. Oh, it gets a little too close to him that time. Well, at least he didn't grab there. I thought he might be tempted to grab. Oh, Timber trying to Lloyd a little too fast. The other one wasn't dead yet. It's a good counter to that down B with Timber. You just stay in the air. Oh, the sapling. Nice up there out of shield. Ooh, wow. Nice direction by Timber. Holding uh, away. Doesn't take all that damage. Double up air. Oh, wow. That was really weird looking. Oh, Andy again staying in his shield when he could have just escaped. I mean, you can also jump out of shield too. That's a thing, right? <laughs> oh, big trade, but no sparks. So Timber's still alive. And this is, again, last hit. Whoa, again. I don't like how Andy's approaching with those uh, down Bs. That's going to do it. And once again, A and D overextending. The down B is a good tool in this matchup, but you have to know when to throw it out. You can't just uh, go for it, especially with the kick, because the kick is a lot laggier. So, yeah, you got to be careful with those. Good stuff to Timber, though. He will take that in advance.